and then I also put my money into rice vest stocks, mm, piggy vest. Okay. So at least I know that okay, I also have this part also secured. Dollar is dollar investments, naira investments, bamboo. I think these are like the things that I am currently doing. That's actually very, very intelligent actually. Very good. This podcast is sponsored by Go Money. Open a new bank account from your phone in less than three minutes. And we're back again with another new episode of I Move Back. Uh, we've got some amazing people in the studio. I know that S is still in London, uh, leaving this Lagos heat for us to survive while she's there relaxing and deciding that she's not going to come back for another year. But that's a different situation to handle. So put on the on the comment section everybody s get s back to london asap like i, I need that <laughs> to be there so but here we have another guest i am midday i am midday please please introduce yourself what what do you do what's your business about how's kind of lagos treating you lately okay um my name is ayomide ayodiji um i am actually a pharmacist by profession and then business a decorator event stylist actually lagos is very stressful at least this week has been very, very tedious. I don't even know. It has actually been very stressful for me because I'm moving apartments and all of that. Yeah. So I've been doing a lot of market runs and then I'm realizing that, ah, this adult today is expensive. It's I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but we, like, I've always wondered for, for ladies, like how you guys manage your expenses in Lagos. Because I know guys, we're just always just flexing and doing all the serious <laughs> stuff. But ladies, you guys are much more cautious with your finances. How yeah, do you so, kind of do that? Okay, so before now, I don't think I particularly know the price of things. I not like I don't know, but I was not so in tune with it yet because I that just go home and just get it. So now with this new apartment, I'm just having to go to the market with my friend. I'm like realizing that I don't even need a lot of things. Furniture, I'm like, ah, is it this expensive? Um cotton. <laughs> I spent, I was just like, are you people, so am I actually buying this? To be honest, it's not as if I didn't have the money, but I was just like, so these things are like this expensive. I'm sure that thing they buy today. Pots. Oh, wow. Jesus. My mommy got me my first set of pots, so I should not even know how much they sell pots. I got to the market today. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know. I just want to marry so that. You'll be, be, be fine. You'll be fine. As Nigerian guys will take good care of you. You know they always do. So you'll be fine. Hopefully. But yeah, that's just been my week lately. And what else? That's good. What's so, interesting as So what is your what is your business about? Let's talk to you a little bit so, about So yeah, my business, Decos and Colors, it's um a growing business, a growing brand. Um majorly balloons, florals, and when for intimate events. So when I mean intimate events, I'm talking about bridal showers, baby showers, hangouts, intimate um weddings, like mm. say about 150 to 300 guests, we can handle that. Even if it's more, we can actually can handle it, but it's not like something that I would do for my comfort zone. So that is the word. But um, I've handled 400, I've handled 600 guests. So yeah, I think I did want 1,000. Well, and, and meeting, doing like events, you must be meeting a lot of different characters of people. Actually, yes, it's inevitable. Like every time I'm meeting different people, and to be honest, I'm actually like indifferent to people now. Not like I do. I actually know people and I like them. But when I meet my customers, I just come with a plain mind. Like whatever it is that you bring, I don't have a choice. You are first my customer. My money is in your hands. So I have to be very nice and be polite. Yes. Mm. And then just hear what you have to say. And then we'll pick it up from what, there. What is the kind of, the, give, give you a couple of scenarios where you've had some very, very interesting type of customers and mm. what happened? Everything is always based on money whenever we have issues with customers. So there was this client that messaged me. So I did a styling for somebody. And then the guest size, I think, was just about um, 100, yeah? Kiddies parties. So kiddies parties are usually very, they are more expensive than like adult parties because you get to use props and a lot of fancy things, actually. So if adult parties say 300K, you think about adult party 300K for, say, 20 to 30 guests. Kiddies party, 20 to 30 guests, full blown, will be about, say, 500 thereabouts. So now, and then bouncy castle, all of those things. So she sends me a picture from my page that, oh, she wants this full package. Welcome, signage. I don't know. Well, something to welcome the guests. Yeah. Bouncy castle, ball pits, um, 
the candy floors, all of those things. And then she wants canopy, all of those, everything. She has mentioned is grass carpet. Wow. She sends me the space. We're going to drip. I'm like, oh, no problem. That's actually like a very great brief that I'm ready to execute it. I don't even know what even made me to just ask her that, man, what is your budget? Because typically, I would, I would just be like, oh, this is the range. Should I go in um, to detailing of the cost? I was just like, man, what's the budget? So I was like, eh, I want something very cost friendly. I'm like, no problem, Mark, but like, let me just know your budget. And please bear in mind that our guest size is 150, 50 children, and I think about um, 80 adults or so. I cannot remember. Then she now told me, oh, budget 150k. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> the, the budget was less than what you before was going to be. To be honest, I actually screamed. I'm like, even if I am stealing these things, like you, you can't, I can't tell me that. Basic Castle alone is like 50k. So, what is now left? Oh, um, that I actually was very shocked. But then I was not telling my friends, I was like, oh, everybody is different. Our financial, what is it called, levels is also different. You really cannot compare. Somebody's 150 can be 1 million to them. So, I was like, true though, but then that, is, that was very ridiculous. Wow. To that client, that, that was funny. I think I've actually been blessed with great clients. I'm not going to lie. I don't Do you? Have, do you collect um, kind of full payment upfront, or do you kind of do after the service? How do you charge for your service? Full payment is allowed, but if you don't, if you don't want, if you don't want to pay full, then do seventy percent upfront, then thirty percent on the day of the event. Has any customer ever had an event with you and then decided not to pay the thirty percent at the end? Yes. What did you I do? I will never forget. <laughs> Let me tell you, people, this gist. So there was this client that messaged me. It was not even. I, I will not say he's a direct client, but like he's also like into the event stuff. So he was like, "Oh, hi, I like your work. Um, I'd like you to do something for me." I'm like, "Oh, no problem." <laughs> okay, so it's a different thing if a third party vendor which is out to which is out to me and tell me, "Oh, Mide, um, I want to do this thing for me, though it is my gig, but like I'm outsourcing it to you." I realized that okay, this thing I have to like be considerate in the pricing. I have to like. Okay, come out plain to that. Okay, this is actually the thing that we can do. So he did not tell me all of that. So I think that maybe they overpaid him for what, for what, for the brief he gave me. But then the brief he just gave me was just very basic. So I just executed based on that. And then this styling was not in Lagos. Like, it was we had to like um, go to a beach house. I think Ilashe. So it was very stressful for me. So fin so seventy percent upfront and then you complete the rest after. I was like, Oh don't worry, the client has paid all of that. We went that night I suffered because hmm. typically I'll just go to a venue and then come back and then leave my guys there to just finish up. I was like, Let me just let me just wait. And then it, it told me that we're going to start the styling like around three PM. I was like, Oh, we can't just still come back to town at that time if we finish like say five or six. So then these people did not come until like 10 p.m. So we're already like stranded. I know how that this old jetty stuff can be. Like you have to book and all of that. So that one happened. I could not leave the place that night. We had to sleep inside that mosquito. You slept in Elashe that night? <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> and then the ma- guy that told me, oh, don't worry. Provisions have been made for your accommodation, everything. All of-. I was like, oh, no problem. If that's if I am, if provisions have been made. She told me, took me to the um, event planner. The event I was like, oh, I should not worry. Once it's 11, this and this and this. I was like, no problem. 11 came. I was like, ma, where will I sleep? Where will my guy sleep? She was like, okay, midday, I'm coming, I'm coming. That day, I, don't even, I cannot even remember where I slept safe because but I knew that mosquitoes. Oh, my God. No, I suffered. So she, she still didn't give you the 30% at the mm-hmm. end of the day? After the event, we got to the jet. I'm like, oh, please. That. Well, I even started asking her for the money before I even left. She was like, oh, I shouldn't worry. That the client is going to let me know all of that, all of that. My, I will not even forget, 48,000 naira. So I was not like, oh, ma, please, my, but my, my, what is it called, my balance. I'll be, she still did not give me, she kept telling me, oh, I shouldn't worry. The client is coming. The client is about to pay. I sent a message. I sent. I just realized that that one is a bad debt, so I just left on now. But ah no no, it pains going, me. Going forward, what, do you think you're gonna take your money up front? Well, the thing is that I also have to be considerate because, in at the end of the day, we are still in Nigeria. People have trust issues. So what will, what I do is, no problem. Pay your seventy percent up front. I'm going to show up at your at your venue. I don't know, but if. I, I don't actually enforce that you pay me 30% before I start your work because I realize I might be rude, number one, and it might not be convenient because most of my clients are like the... They're not planners. They're like the um, celebrants. So mm-hmm. I really cannot be disturbing them on the day of their events. So I just tell them, 
I just used to have faith. <laughs> no, that they will because, pay you. Yes, that they're going to yeah. pay me. And then I try my best to actually deliver well on my job so that you're not going to tell me that, oh, media, you didn't do this. Or the cause and colors did not do this. So when you even see the job, you're just like, Mm-mm, don't worry. So, I mean, for me, I'm always interested in the industry and seeing kind of how big the event industry is in, in Nigeria or maybe Lagos. Can you, can you share any numbers to give us an idea of like the industry? In terms of in terms of like how big is it? Is there is there like a, a huge opportunity for yes, events? Because I know that a lot of people do there's a lot of weddings and, yes, and events and all these things. I like feel like events is is inevitable to be mm. honest because I don't know, but it is actually like it's actually like a cash cow to be honest. Once you have your materials, you don't have to like do too much. Okay, let me just explain to you now. So I'm into event decor, yeah. Um, I would have gotten at least if I if I'm going to use like say ten things, I'm going to either rent maybe say six out of ten or five out of ten. Mm. The f- menu five, I am I have it myself. I bought it once. Yeah, it's a one-time purchase, but it is always like a continual pay from the clients end because I didn't buy it for free. But stuff like that, you make more money on it because if you buy something for um, say ten era. And you now do your rental cost and you're renting it out at, say, um, three naira for every event. If you do, like, how many events? Um, 30 events, Abi. How many we get? 30 times three. That is 90. Yeah, yeah. All so right. those are the maths. Like, you have, like, a returning. Like, your cash flow is just very continual. And then this is Lagos. People like party. People like show off. Mm. There are times that you tell me, somebody will message me, me there, I, I saw what you did for my friend. Please, I want this burden. Please, what are the extras? All of that. There's a lot of pressure. Social media, everybody likes aesthetic things. So, so I, just I, I, I like doing dinner parties and I've never actually had a decoration done in from one of them before. I think uh, maybe next one you might even come. But if you were to, to uh, put a, an event for a group of 12 people and um, let's say... How would you go across with it? I'm not going to give you a budget. You kind of choose the budget, but how would you go across with putting that together? So, um, let me know what type of event is. So, you're saying just your friends. Yeah, like a dinner party. <coughs> well, how would you do that? How would you put that together? Okay, so I'm not planning for you. I'm just doing your deco. So, those are like two different things. Mm. If I was planning for it, then I'm going to charge you for planning and then just take up the old stuff. But if I'm not, if I'm only doing your deco, then I just ask you what are your highlights? What is the theme that you want? So somebody can be like, oh, I just want something good or rustic or something like really themed so they can tell you, oh, black and white. Like, they just go in details. Different themes, yeah. Yes. So once you tell me that, I try to, like, look for inspirations because you want yourself and your clients to be on the same page. Mm. So I try to help you to get a visual image of what it is that you want, even if you don't have. So when I send you something, you are triggered. You're just like, mm, okay, this can work for me, but what can we do? Okay, let us tweak it this way. So you tell me that, and then from there, I can now start taking down your details. And then again, for your dinner, we know that, okay, we're going to do table setting. If it's in, if it's in a restaurant, I know that we don't have to like bring a lot of things in. Maybe we're just going to bring um, a centerpiece. Centerpieces are like um, flowers and all of that. Yeah. A table cover, charger plates, and... Yeah, napkins. Just to be able to make it very aesthetic. And then um, your backdrop, which is like the highlights, where you're going to take pictures. Make it fabulous. Some people tell you they don't like balloons, they want florals. Some people say they don't want florals, they just want something simple. We just try and work. We actually will work with it. Mm. And then again, it a budget... An event of 12 guests is different from another event of 12 guests. Some people like luxury. Some people just like, okay, let me just do this thing and then just fulfill your righteousness. Like, okay, I have a decor in my space. Mm. So I try to understand where you're coming from. I will, I will not impose anything on you. So if you tell me, if I tell you, okay. So I typically would just tell you, okay, this is what we can achieve with this. I'll present a budget to you or like a cost estimate. So from there, we cannot pick it up. So if I tell you oh, 150K for your backdrop, then your table setting and all of that. Say, let's say, table setting, typically, at the very least, will be about maybe 50 to 60K, mm. depending. I'm not doing the calculation, but yeah. So you let me know. I mean, they know this thing. No. Ah, can we, okay, what? Okay, show, no. If, <clears throat> ah, I realize that a customer is a luxury client or a very detailed customer is when she goes, oh, please, can I see what you are presenting to me some people will not just might just be like okay so i use my own discretion to just get they'll just you. trust you and get, yes. to get it done yeah. but some client i'll tell you oh please show me the particular centerpiece you want to use mm. for me oh, now you will show them so they're not tell you oh, no 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 no. can i get this 
from there you're able to say okay ma this is not in the price range i gave you this is a bit higher than what i gave you yeah. so they just we do that change some people to also tell you maybe you've told them backdrop is 150k and then they're like, oh let me see now what type of backdrop how many this thing then they'll be like um excuse me <clears throat> They not tell me, ah, no, 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 I don't want this, so I want this type of color. Then I go and pick a custom color. Custom colors, they are colors that I have to, like, they're not, like, in the market. Or mm. maybe they're in the market, but maybe not accessible. How so I have find, to, yeah, yes, yeah. I have to, like, create them. So I know that that type of person cannot pay the normal charge again. I have to, mm. like, give you a yeah. higher price. So I think he's just... I, 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 I went on your, your Instagram page, and I was looking at some of the things that you've put together. And some of them are actually quite impressive. Now, and that's why we wanted to speak to you. The question is, like, how do you go with the creative process, like putting your balloons, like all those, uh, all the different decors going on, matching the themes, sourcing the different materials? Like, how does that, the creative process, that how do you do it? And what sets you apart from other people? So, to be honest, um, in the industry, actually, okay, so for me, I always, like, try to make it as aesthetic as possible because I realize that, Okay, decor is is just what you see to be on it. It might not be so functional, but then it is just for oh your picture must be nice. When your memories are like oh this naturally came out really beautiful. So I realized that that is like the number one thing that people want. And then this is Instagram. Everybody wants their distance to be aesthetic. So now if you tell me if I'm doing a rustic backdrop for you, if you don't even give me a lot of details, I automatically know that okay this is the type of table um, table setting that is going to accompany it. Your color sequence, too, I'll be like, okay. Now, let's say you're doing green, nude, and, say, brown. Mm. Those three colors, they don't pop well. But then I'll be, I'll pick, like, the nude that is very light. Start with it first. Then put green in the middle. Then put the last brown. And then I'll now accentuate it. So accentuating it means that I'll now put things that will make it to pop. And that's where the clear balloons will come in, mm. florals will come in, so that it actually, like, pops. I don't know, it just comes naturally. Then also, I actually used to get um, inspiration before my job. So if I have an event that the my client has already given me brief for, I try to just go on the internet, check Pinterest, check other pages for inspiration. When you draw inspiration from others, you can actually like create your own because to be honest, nothing is, enti nothing is entirely new in this world. Everything is just being recycled. So once I get inspiration, I can um, infuse it into what I want to do. And then it comes out fabulous. And mm. then rental people, you have to be keen on them. Tell them what you want. Ah, ma, please, I'm begging, no. Let this thing be very neat. Ma, please, so my customer... Like, because rental in this Nigeria... They don't it's too God's do well. Child. No, some actually do well, though. I'm not going to lie, you. But then again, the cost implication might be higher than what you have already planned for. Oh, okay. So yeah. you have to, like, find a leverage, find your own plug. Let your plug understand you, and then you take it up from there. Mm, interesting. As do you have any, any questions for me, Day? Yeah, sure. So I think what it's supposed to be about and getting Yeah. 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 Ye
it's not Lagos. Did you Things did you deco um, um properties in uh, sorry events at university? Or did you no, I didn't do you events. Didn't no, I didn't. Okay. I didn't do events. I was just only doing props yeah. for um trade fairs for brands because that time people were not getting into business, so they used to go for trade fairs. So they want to get something that helps their um business and mm. visibility. So from props, I evolved to making. Okay, because business people were patronizing me a lot, and I said, okay, well, these people also need um, something to make their pictures very beautiful, Be- and they are also still props, so it was still not difficult. I just started getting the photography stuff for them to snap pictures. So during my um, externship, when I came to Lagos, I just said, okay, I don't even know. I was just thinking that, oh, what can my business, what can this business evolve to? Do you mm. care what should we do? She goes like, oh, we actually can even start a deco by this, a deco company by this side. Oh, wow. So I was like, okay, let me just acquire a skill. I just necessarily training with. I see some people on Instagram. I just messaged that um, party by deco. So that map, please. I would like to like train with you and all of that. She was like, oh, no problem. She told me, okay, three months, but I knew that I didn't have three months. I only mm. had like a month there about to stay in Lagos. So I took the training. And I just went with it. I didn't even use it during school. Okay, maybe my past five years. My past five became very hectic because people said I said I didn't even know what I did to be honest. I just that people would be calling me from Lagos. Hi, please can you come and set up for us? I don't. So I was always traveling my past five. Mm. And that was how I started. Even though I was not even I didn't know even I did so when I did not know what I was doing at that time. I was just doing it that okay, I enjoy this thing and then it's getting me extra cash. Then after school, after pharmacy school. Before my internship, like um, after school, that was pandemic year, yes. So there was nothing anybody was doing. I took a um, helium class. So I bought helium. I started feeling helium. From there, I started growing, I started growing. I'm like, okay, if I'm doing helium, it's also balloon. Mm. Let me just start the deco. And then I just refreshed from what Passive by the Cafe taught us because I actually went for the class. And then I started building on it. That was it too. And you've got your first customer just of that process. Yes, all oh my clients. So... Salewa, so there's obviously she she's prepped a couple of trivial questions for you, okay. right? That you need to answer, and I'm gonna try and get them up and see what's mm-hmm. if you're able to get. And the idea is that you want to make sure you get all the questions right okay. to show how versed you are in your sector, mm-hmm. right? Oh wow, That's so interesting. Hey, who is the who is <laughs> who is the most who is the famous Nigerian event planner known for her luxury and stylish wedding events? Planner. Yeah, she's an Nigerian planner. Uh, Funke Bokno. I don't know. Huh? Yes. She got it right. You got it right. Ask <laughs> question. That's good. Hi, I, I didn't even know about this woman. Anyways, who is the... Ter- uh, oh, sorry. What is the second question? Okay. What is the term for the visual plan or layout of an event space? Mood board. Visual plan or layout of an event space? Visual plan or layout of an event space. Hmm. I think the answer is even in the question. It's an arrangement. I mean, I think is it your okay? Your mood board shows everything that you're going to do in the event. It's not a mood board. The answer. Can you tell the answer? Layout. It's an arrangement. The answer is floor plan or event layout. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Question. (laughs) Next one. Question. What is the most popular fabric used for draping and creating soft, elegant looks in event decoration? I know it has fabric. I know I know the material, but I don't know the name. It's called a chiffon. Yeah. Is that you pronounce chiffon. it? Chiffon. Yes. All right, there you go. Okay, now now to the last question, which is probably the hardest question. Good. Prep yourself, Ayamida. You've got this. Okay. In the context of an event and decoration, what does the acronym CAD C A D stand for, and why is it useful? C A D. Hmm. Okay, I'm so sorry to everybody, <laughs> but I'm, I'm embarrassed to be part. At least I got the number one. So CAD means mm-hmm. computer aided design, which is a useful. Uh, that kind thing of is useful. architectural now. Those architects, I know that that was they use yeah, CAD. But I, that's a good question. Do, do event planners use CAD? Well, Salewa. I think that that would be for guys that in, yes in the wedding industry, so they have to, and then probably um people in people that actually set stage mm. and all of that. They actually have to do stuff like that. Yeah. For me, I don't have to do any um, construction necessarily. But so for MTN, when I, when I did MTN's event, I had to do all of those things. Mm. So let me go ahead. There's one more question. You yeah, no, I, I just saw it here. I just saw it here. But you can ask the question. Go ahead. Yeah, so, what do you think? 
currencies and dollars of the Nigerian events industry. What is, it? what is the market value of the Nigerian event industry? How much do you think the Nigerian event industry is worth? Four billion so. How many billion? Figures. How many billion? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty billion. It's worth a twenty billion dollar industry. That's not bad. Yeah, considering Nigerian GDP is five hundred and fifty billion. That's about people do events every six, day. Six five to six percent of our GDP. Yes, that's very good actually. No, 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 no. This is this is good. So do you do you feel like colors? What was it, what the name Decos of the brand? and colors. Decos and colors will be a two billion dollar brand soon. I mean, uh, do you think it's gonna happen? Well, I think that yes. I just have to like be more committed. Since Hilda won this longest record, I've I've just been thinking about my life and how to get better at <laughs> my craft. I'm never going to lie. You, you so, maybe you should uh, try and go for a world record in the event industry. Okay. What would it be if you if you had the opportunity to choose? Um, what would you try and strive for? To be a balloon styling. The biggest. Or the, the biggest longest, or the longest, the longest balloon style in the event. No, like yeah, probably fill up a very large space with balloons and then or to you be can very do creative the, the, and beautiful. The highest number of balloon drop. Okay, yeah, I, I think but I that's would, actually basic. Like you don't have to do so much for that. No, you so just pump. Uh, what's the, just pump them pump the, and put the them inside balloon, the yeah. But but I think I think it's it would be more harder than you think. Yeah, actually, I have a feeling having like to inflate be, a lot of balloons. Yeah, yeah, you're probably as big as almost a whole venue or more than the venue. Sorry. Okay, yes, if that is what you're saying, yes, yeah. that makes sense. All right, so we have a couple of questions about Nigeria and kind of doing business in Nigeria. For me, I want to know that um, what is the best thing that you say? You, okay, you know what, like being a lady doing business in Nigeria, this is the best thing I've been able to know or learn. Um, and why do you think here is good to do that? Your the kind of business you're doing. Okay, so I think that is actually a deep question because, to be honest, there are days actually think of relocating and all of that. But then, in my business, I don't think it's doing badly at all because every time I think about pharmacy, it stresses me out. So, what have I learned in doing business? Why do I think that doing business in Nigeria is very good? Well, I don't think there are not so much hindrances to doing business in this country, in my own opinion. Hindrances? You don't think there's enough hindrances? In the, in yeah, the there business? are things that happen, but I yeah. don't think there are things that I cannot like solve. Maybe lo- logistics is not, is not like anything that I cannot do anything about logistics. I can only try to like be timed and all of that. Mm. Operations. I don't, I, to be honest, what am I? I don't think I have anything so to say against doing business in this country. I think no, but what are the positives? So I think the there? positives uh, is a lot... Okay. It's nice. It's great. It's great to do business here. <laughs> well, there are, there are actually downsides, but overall, maybe because I don't have a lot of responsibilities, mm. I, so I, I will not be able to answer that question sincerely. I'll just tell you based on my own life that, okay, oh, so far, it has been... Um, it has been actually a great run. It has been progressive. And then it keeps getting better. That has actually been my own experience. And I keep learning on the go. Mm. So, but then the only thing I think about events industry will be that there are not so many so, so coaches or like people that will hold your hands as you go. Yeah. So <clears throat> you have to figure out a lot of things on your own. And even the people that you think that they can help you or like guide you on that, on that path. Mm-hmm they are very busy or they are inaccessible. Yeah. And then again, they don't also... So the people that I look up to now, I don't think... I don't even think there are pages that are, like, um, accessible because people be like, okay, oh, it's not until you meet a mentor. You can actually be mentored through their life, through probably their books and all of that. But event industry, it is very low. Like, the whole learning, this thing, it's really most of the time you figure it out on your own. And if you're also going to meet people too, maybe through the... Um, traditional method oh, you in, don't in person and stuff like that yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm not really saying like okay yeah that event school probably for event planners but like for event decor it is not so prominent yeah and and if you were if kind of my final question if you were the president of nigeria what would you do differently say you you got the opportunity one day you're in the astro rock and this you're there <laughs> to make a decision what would you do differently <coughs> What's the first thing you would do? What's the first thing I'm going to do to this country? I think that's to be the power issues. 
electricity to be honest i don't know how they're going to go about it but i need it to be better if we have stable electricity i think there are a lot of things are going to be better mm. a lot of things are even going to be reduced because cost of production is going to reduce all this um like the things that you just that should not be as high as they um they are right now but when you think about the fact that these people have to run on diesel or run on petrol it is a lot of money so it increases cost so once electricity is sorted at least one problem is out of it and it affects a lot of other areas. Mm, interesting. I, I like that one because that's my industry. But S, talk to me. Do you have any, have any questions for Ayomide? Yes, I do. I have a question, actually. Go ahead. How do you separate business and your personal finances? Just a bit my personal. All the money you make, um, it can make it for itself, and it makes pay the investments for your business. How do I make separate my personal life from my no, personal, personal finances, finances and from business my business? Finance, yeah. Okay, then the second one is what? I had to buy investments. But what is your second question, S? Repeat that again. Same question. So when you get money into your business, how do you deal with it? Do you merge it in your personal finances or do you allocate some to your personal finances? Okay, so how do I separate my... First of all, my personal finance from my... Um, Business. business so number one thing is i have a business account so any money that comes into the cause and close goes into the business account number one i typically don't i'm not okay i typically don't touch the cause and colors money until the end of the month when i pay my own self and then i pay my guys but like so before i would have done that but i think that i've gotten to this level of discipline where i try to increase my earnings with my, my my business so that I'm able to pay myself well. Mm. So it sustains me for the duration that I um before the next pay. Mm. Then um for investment and all of that. So for my business, um you can actually invest even in your own business and then it keeps growing for you. So I get stuff for my business. Um backdrop since that I have rental value. Our things that I don't have to rent again so that I can put the money back into the business post. And then I also put my money into Rice vest stocks, mm, piggy vest. Okay. So at least I know that. Okay, I also have this part also secured. Dollar is dollar investments, naira investments, bamboo. I think those are like the things that I am currently doing. That's actually very very intelligent. Actually, very oh, good. All right, thank you so much. Really nice having a chat with you, and and good luck on your business. Thank we you. always love to kind of uh, uh, see kind of young entrepreneurs doing good things and. Hopefully, as you go bigger, come back on. Yes, so. Want to know what the next stage you're in doing and, and going forward. No problem. Thanks so much. Thanks, S, for joining us from London again. And listen, get your get your ass back to Nigeria. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs>